Hello everyone, back again with Movie and Tune Recap. Today, I'm going to explain an American psychological thriller horror film from 2012, titled Would You Rather. Spoilers ahead, so watch out and take care. Desperate for money to help her sick brother, Raleigh, Iris applies for a job at a restaurant even though she has no experience. Dr. Barden, who is treating Raleigh for bone marrow cancer, calls Iris to his office to introduce her to Shepard Lambrick, a wealthy and seemingly charitable man. Lambrick offers Iris a deal, if she participates, and wins a game, his foundation will pay for Raleigh's leukemia treatment and find him a bone marrow donor. He gives her a card and asks her to RSVP that evening if she wants to accept the invitation. Dr. Barden, who has a scar on one side of his head, tells Iris that he once won Lambrick's game and it changed his life. After Iris leaves, Dr. Barden questions whether she is suitable for the game, but Lambrick insists she is perfect. Later, Iris gets a call saying she didn't get the restaurant job, feeling she has no other choice, and knowing her brother feels like a burden, Iris decides to accept Lambrick's offer. A car takes Iris to Lambrick's mansion, where she is greeted by the butler, Bevins, and his staff. Iris meets the other eight contestants, Cal, Lucas, Peter, a gambler, Linda, an elderly woman in a wheelchair, Travis, a military veteran, Amy, a self-centered bad girl, and Conway, a middle-aged alcoholic. Upstairs, Lambrick prepares his son, Julian, to observe the game and instructs him not to touch any of the participants, though he can talk to them. Meanwhile, Dr. Barden starts to regret involving Iris in the game, and he grabs a gun before driving to the mansion. As part of the rules, Bevins collects the participants' belongings, like their phones and keys, before leading them to the dining room. After they are seated, Lambrick and his son join them, and Bevins, along with his staff, attends to the dinner service. Once the dinner is served, a meal of steak and foie gras, Iris tells Lambrick that she can't eat it because she's a vegetarian. Seizing this as an opportunity to start the game, Lambrick offers Iris $10,000 to eat the meat, and after hesitating for a while, Iris accepts his offer. When Lambrick noticed that Conway isn't drinking his wine, Conway explains that he is a recovering alcoholic. Lambrick then gives Conway two choices, to drink the glass of wine for $10,000 or drink an entire decanter of scotch for $50,000. After an emotional struggle, Conway chooses to drink the scotch. When the dinner ends, Lambrick explains that the participants will play a game of Would You Rather. The rules are simple, players must make a choice and act on it within 15 seconds, or they will be eliminated, and the last person standing will win the game. Lambrick gives everyone a chance to leave before the game begins, but no one decides to leave. Suddenly, Bevins brings in an electrocution machine powered by a car battery, complete with head straps. Seeing the torture device, Conway tries to leave, but Lambrick tells him that leaving is no longer an option. When Conway becomes aggressive, Bevins shoots him in the head, shocking and frightening the group. Panic sets in, and Linda says she wants to leave, but Lambrick makes it clear that they are now trapped in the game. In the first round, each player is fitted with a headband and given a buzzer with two buttons, a red button to deliver an electric shock to themselves and a blue button to shock another player. The first to go is Cal, who is asked whether he would rather electrocute himself or Amy and Cal chooses to shock himself. Amy is then asked to choose between shocking herself or Linda, and she quickly chooses to shock Linda even before the timer starts. In turn, Linda chooses to shock Peter, while Travis shocks Lucas. When it's Lucas' turn, he decides to shock himself instead of Iris, and Iris follows suit, choosing to shock herself rather than Cal. After the contestants take turns making difficult decisions, the first round ends with no one being eliminated. As Lambrick leaves the room to prepare for the next round, the contestants discuss a possible escape plan. However, Julian interrupts them, and when he starts berating the group, Delicious. Travis stands up to him. Well, now we have. How about you show us a little respect? As the second round approaches, the servants cover the dining room floor and walls with plastic. This time, the decisions are even more intense, and the time limit for each choice is extended to 30 seconds. Iris is given a choice, stab Cal in the thigh with an ice pick or strike Travis three times with a shambuck, an African whipping stick. 
The group quickly realizes that stabbing the thigh could puncture an artery, so they collectively decide that Iris should whip Travis instead. <laughs> Next, Lucas is given a choice between stabbing Iris or whipping Travis again, and after some discussion, Travis agrees to take another whipping. When it's Travis's turn, he is asked to choose between stabbing Lucas or allowing Bevins to whip him again. Realizing that he's being targeted because he stood up to Julian, Travis covers his mouth with his tie to muffle his screams and chooses to be whipped by Bevins once more. The whipping brings him close to death, showing just how brutal the game has become. Since Linda's legs are paralyzed, Peter decides to stab her in the thigh, reasoning that Travis is too injured to survive another whipping. Unfortunately, Peter hits an artery, and Linda begins bleeding profusely but Peter frantically tries to stop the bleeding with his belt. When it's Linda's turn, she chooses to stab Amy, but Amy quickly retaliates, hitting her back. Amy is then allowed to stab anyone she chooses, she picks Iris, and Lambrick grants her request to stab Iris anywhere. Amy drives the ice pick into Iris' side, but Lucas intervenes and help Iris survive the wound. Meanwhile, Dr. Barden managed to sneak into Lambrick's mansion with his gun and make his way to the basement. The group soon realizes that Linda is no longer moving, and Bevins confirms that she has died from her leg wound and her body is removed from the room. As tensions grows, Cal starts believing Amy's suggestion that they need to eliminate the other players to survive. He chooses to whip Travis, which ultimately kills him and Travis's body is also removed. While Bevins and Lambrick are engaged in a discussion, the remaining players attempt a revolt, and in the chaos, Iris escapes into the house. Cal tries to attack Lambrick but is shot, and Peter, Lucas, and Amy are forced back to their seats at gunpoint as Bevins and Julian search for Iris. As Iris tries to escape through a basement vent, Julian finds her and begins assaulting her. Iris fights back, stabbing Julian in the knee with the ice pick, and at that moment, Dr. Barden arrives, but before he can act, Bevins shoots him. Enraged, Julian pleads with Bevins to shoot Iris for attacking him, but instead, Bevins drags Iris back to the game. When Lambrick asks about Julian, Bevins explains what had happened, and Lambrick leaves the room. Shortly afterward, Lambrick returns into the room and apologizes to Iris for Julian's behavior, and it is revealed that Julian is no longer allowed to observe the game. For the third round, the players are given a grim choice, they can either have their heads held underwater in a barrel for two minutes or choose an unknown punishment from a card sealed in an envelope in front of them. Peter decides to take his chances with the card, and his punishment is revealed to be holding a firecracker in his hand, which turns out to be a quarter stick of dynamite. The explosive is duct taped into his hand, and when it detonates, Peter dies instantly. <laughs> when it's Lucas' turn, he also chooses the card and is forced to slice his eye with a razor blade. Iris decides to face the barrel of water and manage to hold her breath for the full two minutes. Faster and faster until... <laughs> Afterward, it is revealed that if she had chosen the card, she would have had to endure having all her teeth extracted. Finally, Amy decides to pick the card, however, her punishment is far worse than expected, she must spend four minutes in the barrel instead of two. As the timer starts, Amy struggles and when she opens her mouth to take a breath, the water rush in, and unable to survive the extended time, Amy drowns to death. In the final round, only Iris and Lucas remain, since the first participant in the final round has an advantage, a coin is flipped, and Iris wins. She is given a chilling choice, she can either allow both her and Lucas to walk free without any money, or she can shoot Lucas with a dueling pistol and take the money to save her brother's life. Lucas desperately tries to convince Iris to spare him, pouring out his heart and explaining why he entered the competition. He compares the struggles of his family to those of Iris's brother, hoping to appeal to her sense of compassion, but as Lucas speaks, 
Iris suddenly shoots him in the chest, killing him instantly. Shepard crowns Iris the winner and allows her to leave with the money, informing her that they have already found a donor for her brother. After returning home, Iris finds Raleigh peacefully asleep on his bed and proceeds to wash the blood off herself in the shower. However, as she takes a closer look at Raleigh, she makes a devastating discovery, he has committed suicide by overdosing on his medication, and the film ends with Iris collapsing in grief over her brother's lifeless body, screaming, what did you do? Okay guys, that's all the recap about Would You Rather from 2012. Thanks for watching, see you again in the next video.